When Vince asked me to talk about digital facilities, I realized that it's somewhat a virtual subject. But after all, come to think of it, it's probably not a bad idea for an informatic conference anyway. Everything is virtual. So digital facilities were established on uh, last year as a result of restructure, restructure, science restructure. And <clears throat> its organization is still an ongoing process. As Gordon showed, uh, eye collections and other initiatives are the main digitization project in the museum at the moment. And they very much help to uh, <clears throat> organize and create and shape digital facilities. So digital facilities is an one of the main five, uh, uh, what, what we call them, uh, challenges, challenges in the museum. You probably got tired of that. But it's actually in the center of the digital facility, here, all these challenges. It provides data, content for, for other challenges to fulfill their goal. But on the other hand, its success depends on success of other activities. So what is digitization? From the point of view of facilities, at this moment, it's making it digital, creation of digital content. So first of all, it's <coughs> creation of digital form of an occurrence record of a specimen, which later can be linked or augmented with additional information, uh, taxonomic information. What is it? Or what was it at some point of a time? Where it was described, pictured, uh, mentioned, cited? Curatorial information. How did it came to the museum? Or where it is in the museum at the moment? Or any other kind of information? How does it look? sound, smell like, what, how does it move, what are there any inf data do we have about this specimen? So, but broader, in a broader sense, digitization includes management, managing, using and sharing data, and in this sense, everybody in the museum, researchers and curators, are IT infrastructure managers and programmers, are interactive media, content team, they, we're all doing digitization. So collection digitization involves several processes, and I'm going to show that, uh, uh, not necessarily in the same order. So databasing of labels, of registry, of ledger transcriptions, georeferencing, uh, <coughs> imaging specimens, and most importantly, ingested into the ear. That incidentally, I got it most of the time. So uh, it's a lot of work for 70 million specimens. But the good thing is that we don't have to do that for all the specimens at the same level of precision. So different collections or different projects require different levels of digitization. Uh, for example, collection level descriptions or taxonomic indexing or draw level imaging would be perfectly suitable for uh, collection management. Well, uh, ecological project would require precise specimen to load the occurrence records. Uh, taxonomic projects uh, <coughs> would require high quality specimen imaging and so on. So function of digital facilities at the moment uh, help you to organize your digitization work. Uh, <clears throat> design the best suitable workflows. Recommend available instruments and tools. Ensure quality and follow the standards. Follow the standards. And for larger digitization projects, provide labor force and manage those projects. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Well, yeah. Here we are. Prioritizing and planning are the most important stage of that of any project. And of course, it's impossible for the digital facilities alone. It has to be 
<coughs> achieved by, yes, through communal work of research, collection management, and facilities. So we have to answer three main questions. Why? So users have to have to lead on these questions. Why do we do that? Why do their particular project is important? Why, why bother to digitize? Uh, what to digitize? The collection management has the last word on that. But of course, users and facilities may uh, advise on what to do and how to do it better. And how do we do that? So facility can develop the best suitable workflow, but then collection management may <clears throat> may say that it's not particularly suitable for that kind of preservation of that kind of specimens and that kind of collections. Uh, <clears throat> so um, Daryl, in a moment, will tell us more about uh, <clears throat> development in the in um, collection management system. And uh, Jane, I hope, will tell us about uh, <coughs> digitization in um, library and archive. I want to you know, say a few words about uh, uh, instruments for uh, image-based digitization workflows. We can provide uh, uh, tools and instruments for any kind of uh, for any kind of um, specimens that we have in the museum, from macrophotography to photomicrography, very small specimens and their details. Uh, recently, we <coughs> acquired state-of-the-art uh, axioscope, and we are replacing two of our um, compound microscopes. Herbarium scanners are familiar to all of them, and now Steve Caffiti is replacing them with um, medium format high resolution cameras that will work better and and faster. Collection scanner is <coughs> perfectly suitable for um, uh, a very fast capturing of uh, images of large amount of uh, large number of specimens, but with a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of uh, software, we can adjust that to for specimen level digitization. And uh, of course, a uh, museum holds more than two million of slides, uh, which is incredibly rich, but almost an accessible source of information. We are, uh, <coughs> we are purchasing an um, industrial grade uh, quality of collection uh, slide scanner. But the same, as I told before, the same can be achieved with uh, other tools, for example, uh, uh, 50,000 to, to quarter of a million uh, slides per year can be imaged with a microscopic resolution, but if you don't need that, we can image up to a million specimens a year with photographic resolution. So it always a balance. On this note, I'll pass the open stick to Daryl. But I can take maybe one question.